either paper pencil or perhaps a whiteboard and marker to work out problems. Okay, so just a little little tip for you that we are going to do some problem solving today and you'll want something to write on. Whiteboard, piece of paper, pencil, something. Just set it aside because we want to go over a few things first. All right, let's get started. This is exciting. Let's see what we have to do today. The first thing is our promise. We're so good at the promise. Let's see who we're going to celebrate. Participate, being respectful, being on time. Mute. Josh, have a seat. Stay muted. Include your name or change it in the Zoom. Stay in your spot, like we said before. I think I said that already. And keep your eyes on the screen where all the magic happens. Here's the first part of the magic. We have our January birthdays. We are still celebrating Jamarian, Ava, and Siddharth. Wow. Okay. Now, we said that we had some new friends to celebrate. Here are their names. Get ready. Well, we have been in Almo for awesome Zoom Promise Keeper. You know, I think they've been that a long time ago. Let's bring them back to celebrate that. Remember that anyone who ends up as an awesome Zoom Promise Keeper is welcome to draw me some fabulous backgrounds because my background is a little boring right now. So I would love to have some fantastic pictures, okay? Um, and then Michael for my amazingly detailed responses, not just one word answers, okay, not half a sentence. I want the whole thing. I want you to explain to me, write it all down so I can understand your thinking. Siddharth, working hard, man. Thank you for getting, he's almost, I think he's halfway through math module 12 already. Yeah, not too fast, not too slow, just right. I love it. Now, here's the exciting part I have been waiting to show you. You know, the sad part is I only got five kids to participate. But the good news is these were the folks that accepted our first challenge. They dressed up as 100-year-old people, so get ready. <laughs> Let's see who it is. Look, it's Johnny. <laughs> <laughs> She's a hundred years old. Isn't that hilarious? Thank you, Miss Johnny. By the way, all the students that did participate will have their picture um, uh, tweeted by me and included in the Hillsborough County Math Department. So they'll get to see your great pictures. Look at Miss Ava. She is an old, old lady. <laughs> That's a hundred year old lady too. And I will also tweet her wonderful picture out. Let's look at these old men. <laughs> I laughed for five minutes on this one. <laughs> it was so awesome. Look at their wrinkles they put in their faces, guys. <laughs> so Mr. Ben and Almo, this is what you will look like when you're a hundred years old. I, <laughs> I love it. And Mr. Jaden, look at Jaden. He put a, <laughs> that one was great too. Look at the filter guys. <laughs> he is a hundred year old man. Anyway, I laughed until I cried. Mm -hmm. Thank you for sharing those with me. Again, I will tweet those wonderful pictures to include the math department for Hillsborough County. So they'll get to see your Excuse great work. Me? Oops. Hold on. Oh, it's me, Larissa. Larissa, don't um, interrupt. What, what do you want to say? Oh, quick, quick, because little this is... I have my little sister here. She'll be quiet, I promise. Okay. Were you quiet just now? No, but she will. Oh, I oh but were you me. quiet? If she's not breaking the promise, but you are, what will happen? Oh, here comes our challenge board. Please stay muted. Thank you very much. Look at all my friends today. Wow, I'm so glad you're all here. Well, I talked about... I prepared you. I, I gave you warning. We would have math challenges. The ultimate math challenge starts last week. It started last week with our 100-day picture. You'll notice on the screen there are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight starbursts. That's eight different uh, math challenges that you um, can participate in. 
These are optional. You don't have to do these. They will not affect your grade in any way, okay? Only your regular work affects your grade, but this is for fun and to help you get better, more prepared for second grade. So here are eight strategies and here's how we're gonna do it. I'm gonna send this out to your families. You've, some of you have already done the first challenge. All you have to do, listen carefully, is to choose six of those starbursts, six of them. There are six different challenges and get them completed and sent them to me by the end of February. No, sorry, end of March, March 31st. You just have to email or text me a picture showing that you finished a challenge. Remember to follow any instructions or guidelines. You cannot participate unless you've turned in work for the week, regular work, regular work. And here's the big ultimate challenge. Ready, guys? Hold on to your seats. At the end of the challenge, the first week of April, when we meet up for our math lesson, I'm going to have a big spinning wheel with all the names of the people who participated. And though we will spin the wheel, ding, and whoever it lands on will win a $25 Amazon gift card. Ah! Isn't that awesome? <laughs> and there will be smaller prizes. And I'll announce those throughout the challenge as well, okay? Other little things that we'll be able to win for participating. Okay, so look for this. Families, look for this challenge board. It's fun, it's cute, and it will help. All right, let's move on, Ms. Cruz. Our magnificent math vocabulary. Thank you to my friends who are using the vocabulary words in both math and science when they talk to me during DBAs and in their responses. So you can check this list out. I will post this every week for our magnificent math vocabulary. Use the words that you are learning in your lessons. Okay, okay, okay. It's word problem Wednesday. That's why you need the paper pencil. That's why you might need a whiteboard to write on. You might want to work out your problems. It's Word Problem Wednesday. You're going to use your cube strategy. You remember that? Yeah, if you, can't, if you can't write on the screen, don't worry about it. You know how to look for the numbers, think about the question, figure out the keywords, and then solve on your paper. All right? Are you ready to play? Let's play. Let's play. Get your Nearpod ready. Okay, and it's going to end up, the code will continue to be at the top of my screen toward the left. I think it's on my left side. XCJ2V. And I just wanted to give a shout out to everybody who joined us in today's lesson. I see Joshua. I see Mrs. Cruz, I see Addie, I see Jackson, I see Olmo, Olmo the old man, and see Darth, <laughs> I see Darth, and Johnny, and Ben, another old man, and there's Christina, hi Christina, Mr. Jaden's here, Miss Larissa and her sister are here, Miss Ava Marie is here, and let me see if there's anybody else that joined us today. I think that's it. Thank you for coming to our lesson today. Let's get started. I have 10 friends in. Before we begin, please remember that Word Problem Wednesday is going to provide you with a word problem that you need to quickly, efficiently solve as fast as you can, but correct. Okay, you can't just shout out the wrong answer. You have to work it out and then write in the correct answer. If you can annotate when we get to that part, you can write right on the screen. I've given you the option to draw right on the uh, each word problem. Remember your strategies. There are new strategies we've learned. Regrouping is one of them. That's right. If you have too many ones, baby ones, you can group them into a 10. Move it on over to the tens place. Yeah. All right. But just a quick review of all of our working strategies count on number line place value cubes and counters who loves to draw dots i know i do hundreds chart if you have it ready tens frame doubles facts doubles facts 
Ooh, I think it was Ava who was like the queen of double facts. Number bonds. Yes. Who loves number bonds? Related facts, which is like fact families. All right. So if I know five plus two is seven, then I bet I know that two plus five is seven and five plus two is seven and seven minus two is five. I know all those. Regrouping is the new one. Here we go, guys. Miss Cruz, enough. Let's do it. First question is out of seven word problems, how many do you think you need to have correct? To feel successful, to feel like you're really, really good at solving word problems. So let's see our answers. Zero to two, maybe three to five, or C, ooh, almost all of them, six to seven, seven total. So if you get one wrong, you still feel pretty good, right? Okay, you can tell. Some people are feeling pretty confident. I like it. And if you're not, it's okay. That's why we do this. It's practice. All right, pups, here we go. First question is, Jack's hen lays six eggs on Monday, three eggs on Tuesday, and nine eggs on Saturday. How many eggs did she lay that week? six, three, and nine. Okay, you can draw it right on there if you want. You can draw dots, you can do a number line. Hmm, I wonder who's gonna do, um, I wonder who's gonna make a 10 strategy. <laughs> I think Siddharth is the king of ma make a 10, right? Yeah, how'd we do? Oh, Addy is too? Okay, I like that. What about Mr. Jaden? Wonder what he, how he's going to solve it. If you are unable to write on the Nearpod, I will, of course, look to see if you're holding up the paper to show me your answer. If you can't write on it, then you can hold it up to the, to the camera and I'll notice. Ooh, look at that. All right, so let's look, let's look at Addie's. Addie has six eggs on Monday, three eggs on Tuesday, and nine more. So she has her answer. Not quite sure how you solved it. Did you put it in your head? Did you do it in your head? Wow, your head's really good. So if you were doing it in your head, which numbers would you put together first, Miss Addie? Six and three or six and nine? What'd you six put together? And three makes six and nine. Oh. So I put it that in my head and kept it in there. And then I just counted six, like one, two, three, four, five, six. And then I put them all together and that makes 18. You're right. Thank you for sharing. Do you know, as you were telling me that, I also noticed a double fact. You did six and three first, and that came up with nine. And then you had another nine. When they match, they're like doubles. Nine and nine is 18. <gasps> Woohoo! Oh, Siddharth made a 10. I knew he would. Great work. Awesome. If you, oh, look at Jaden. He is drawing his dots. Oh, can I show off Christina's too? This is exactly what Addie was talking about. She put six and three together first. Nice job, Christina. And then added nine on. Ooh, you guys are getting good. I love it, Ben is halfway done. He's got six and three equals nine. Now he needs to add his third add end, the other nine. And you have about five seconds left to submit your answers. Jaden, nice work. I love it. I love it. I love it. He re it really showed a model. Let's look at Miss Ava's. Ooh, very nice, Miss Ava. What's this seven though? Seven is doesn't match the um, problem. So we need to go back and double check the problem. It was six plus three plus nine. So change that seven to a nine and you've got it. Okay. All right, guys, our time is up. I am impressed. Let's look at Johnny's. Oh yes. Oh, look at that. She did vertical addition. Nice. Okay, let's do the next one. Let's do the next one. I'm so excited. Oops, sorry, I messed up. Here it is. <clears throat> The Little Mermaid counted 23 starfish. Three of them floated away. How many are left? 
three, and three of them floated away. Ooh, Christina thinks she's, she knows it. Look at her thinking. Notice the ones place. 23. What's in the ones place? I can do this with place value. And then the, those three ones swim away. Well, if you had three and three swim away, what's left in the ones place? Oh, yeah. Look at Larissa. Oh, go girl. Look at that. Nice. You want to know how I got the answer? Yes, please. So I, I did this. I did 23, 22, 21, 20. Wow. Kiss your so brain. Then I just wrote the answer and submitted it. I love it. You counted down just like you're on a number line and I you count, count forward. Down. I didn't count. I didn't count forward four times. I counted. Okay. Down. Okay. 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 Chef's kiss. Mwah. <laughs> nice job. Okay. Go ahead and mute. Thank you. Mr. Ben got it. Almo got it. Christina. Oh, I like your equation. Oh, she wrote the equation. Miss Addie. That looks wonderful. Oh, Joshua typed his equation in. Wow. That's nice. All right, guys. And let's see. I'm trying to look around. So if we had 23 and three of them left or swam away, we are subtracting, right? We're getting rid of those baby ones. So it should be the answer should definitely be less than it was before because we're losing some of those um, starfish. We, we lose them, give them away, we take them away, they float away. Away is like a keyword. It means means subtract, means to get smaller. All right, don't worry if you didn't get it, we have to move on. There is a new problem about cookies. Get ready for cookies. My cookie had 13 chocolate chips. Addie's cookie had 18. Oh, wait a minute, how many more chips did Addie's cookie have than mine? Hmm. We're comparing. 13 versus 18. There's a difference. When you compare, what do you do? When I say compare, you say compare. Compare. So, what do you think the difference is? All right, let's look at some answers. Oh, I can't wait to see. So if we're comparing to see the difference between two add-ins or two numbers, I'm sorry, two numbers, she had 18, I only had 13. I wanna know the difference between them. Like what's between 13 and 18? How many extra chocolate chip cookies did she have? Oh, look at Jaden matching them up. Whoa, <laughs> that's awesome. So when I want to compare, to see the difference, wait, keyword difference, oh, that's a subtraction word, isn't it? Difference is the answer for subtraction, right? So should we subtract the number? Mm -hmm. I see pluses, not sure if that would be helpful, remember. I want to know what's between 13 and 18. I don't want to know what 13 plus 18. I'm not, I'm not adding our chocolate chips together. I want to know the difference. Difference means subtract. Yes. Oh, there is Addie's. Yes, 18. And if you subtract out or, or subtract my chocolate chip cookies from your chocolate chip cookies, you're going to find the difference. And it is five. Nice work. Awesome. 18 minus 13. Look at Jane and matching them up. Wow, that's really smart. I like that. So if you can also count up. Oh, those numbers are pretty close. Could you put 13 in your head and count up to 18? Could you? Almost flip your numbers around. 
you have to start with the big number. Otherwise, you won't have enough to give away. You've got to be rich to give away. Christina, is that a minus sign? Eva Marie, make sure that you start with the biggest number when you are subtracting. Remember, you have to be rich. Rich. Which number's richer, 18 or 13? You have to start with the big, rich number first. Otherwise, you'll run out. I don't have enough to give away. So I would flip those numbers around. All right. Ooh, we spent a little extra time on this one because it's important. I don't know if your parents are listening, but if they are, and if you can remember this, you need to practice finding the difference between numbers, all right? We will continue practicing this. We should probably practice this every time we meet so that you become experts at finding the difference when you compare numbers. All right, guys, can't spend any more time on this. The correct answer is 18 minus 13, and you'll find five left. You can subtract or you can reverse it and flip it, and you can put 13 in your head and count up like you're on a number line. Go to 13 on a number line and see how many jumps it takes to get to 18. That's your answer. All right, let's do the next one. We're gotta go faster. The temperature was 38 degrees yesterday. Today it was 59 degrees. What's the difference? Did we just talk about difference? Raise your hand if it means subtract. Oh yeah, 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 I like those hands, definitely. So if I see a plus, should I go, um, should I jump up and, and hit the ceiling and, 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 and I don't know what I should do. I don't know what, I, what would I do if I was not happy. Let's see. Um, I know I'll be like the little baby ones and start crying. guys working hard. The temperature was 38 degrees yesterday. Today was 59. So how many degrees difference is there? Subtract. Subtract. I'm trying to find the difference. You need to subtract. Okay, let's see how we're doing. Um, I can't wait to see it. <gasps> oh, oh, I see. Look at Ben and Ava and Addie starting with the big number. Joshua, nice work. Siddharth, excellent. That was great. That was great. Starting with the biggest, richest number you have to subtract. Don't start with 38. You'll run out. So I like 59 minus 38. That was beautiful. How do you figure that out? Oh, look at Jaden do it using place value. That will help. Oh, look at Johnny using vertical addi uh, addition or vertical equations. Oh, I'm so happy. Oh, wow, Ava. That is so awesome, girl. Get up and dance. That was amazing. Yeah. <laughs> Addie, get up and dance. That was awesome. Wow. Almost beautiful. Chef's kiss. Mwah. Oh, I'm loving this. 59 minus 38. I'm going to highlight, um, let me, I don't know. It, there's, there's so many good ones. Look at Johnny's going to, uh, Johnny, John Irene's going to dance too. Siddharth, so check out Johnny's real quick. So 59's on top, then she slides the second add end correct, directly underneath to do vertical uh, equation. Then she comes over to the ones place, put up nine fingers, chew off eight of them. You have one left, drop it on the bottom. Go to your tens place. I have five tens. I'm going to eat up three of them. Five take away three is two. Your final answer is 21. Okay, good work guys. Christina, did you just give up? What's that for? 
Um, okay, let's, that's oh, wonderful. Joshua, amazing, man. You're like Spider-Man. Snuck it right in there. Good work. Okay, here comes the next one, guys. Talk about money today. Money. Siddharth's already on his money unit. I spent $42 in the grocery store and I spent 20 more at the pet store. How many dollars did I spend? Who can count by tens? You have a hundreds chart. It's so easy. 42 plus two more tens. I don't want to give it away, but I do want to show Christina something. Hold on. So let's just look, Christina, check this out. 42, and I'm going to do vertical equation plus 20 more. Look at my tens place and look at my ones place. What's two plus nothing still going to be? What's four tens plus two tens? Drop it down below. You've got your answer. Okay, let's see how we're doing. Dun, dun, dun. Eddie! Joshua! Wow. Okay, let me see Siddharth's a little bigger. Hold on. Oh, you subtracted. Wait a minute. Hold on a second. Let me think about let me think this through with you, okay? So what is the question asking? Is it asking to compare how many I spent? how many more I spent one day than the other? Or is it asking how many dollars in all did I spend? So I have to try to think about what the question is. In this case, I don't think I was comparing. I think it was asking how many dollars did I spend in all? Hmm, would that be subtraction or adding both up? All right, let's see. Same for Ben. Ben, did you hear that? I tricked you, didn't I? This one was not asking for us to compare. So we don't subtract. We want to know how many in all. Oh my goodness. Look at Miss Johnny. Hey, Miss Johnny, is that from a hundreds chart? That is, isn't it? It's a tiny piece from it. It's so good. Thank you for showing me how to add tens. I love that. All right, let's see who else. Mm, Mr. Jaden, this one I tricked you, didn't I? It's not supposed to be subtraction. It's supposed to be addition. We want to know. I spent 42 one day, 20 the next day. How many in all? How many all together? How many dollars did I spend? So we have to add them. Okay, so you want to change that? And let me look at Miss Ava's. Ooh, happy Valentine's Day to you too. It's coming up soon. Almo, nice work. How'd you do it, Almo? Do you remember how you did it? Were the 100 charts when I count two times down? Uh, it, it was 72. Whoa, 62. You mean 62? 62. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's wonderful. Excellent job. I Look at Addie's. Addie, I love your vertical equation. I love your hundreds chart, guys. That's right. So the only thing we got mm, a little confused on was I'm throwing out different types of problems. Sometimes I want you to add, sometimes I want you to subtract. Guys, we're getting close to the end. We played soccer all weekend. I made 20 plus five goals. I wonder what that is. My friend made 18 plus seven goals. We think we made the same equal number of goals. Is that true or false? How would you know? So I did 20 plus five. My friend did 18 plus seven. Are those the same number? Total? Same sums? How would you figure it out? You can't just guess. Hmm. Who's solving each side? 
Ooh, ooh, look at you. Do Addy's doing cube strategy. Nice work. I want to know if both sides are equal or not. Ooh, look at Siddharth. So he's trying to figure out how many each kid actually scored. We can't compare until we solve each side. Mm, okay, I like that. So one kid did 25 goals. And what did the other kid do? Oh, Addy, <laughs> you got it. <laughs> nice. Addy, what's 18 plus 7? 18 plus 7 is 25. Can you show me how you got that? Oh, that's easy. As you can see, I always have this handy. So my trick is to count. Count, count on ones? Awesome. Yeah. Can I try it in my head to double check? Because I yeah. love to double check. Okay, let's try it. 18. This is the second kid, guys. This is the friend. He had 18 plus 7. All right, so here I go. 18. 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. <gasps> he did, Addy. He did have 25. And guess what? They are equal. If you said it's true and they're equal, you got it right. Very nice, Siddharth. Very nice, Miss Addie. Uh, let me look. Let me. Oh, true. Christina says it's true. So does Joshua. Beautiful. I like Ben's big old check mark. It's true. Jaden says it's true. That's right. You would know it's true if you solved each side. And I like the hundreds chart. You could also use a number line. Do it in your head but you have to solve each side first. All right, I'm thinking, oh, this is the last question. <clears throat> I'm thinking of a number that is 30 less than 33. What number is it? Addie had her hundreds chart ready. Joshua knows his hundreds chart, right? Who else has a hundreds chart? 30 less, that's three tens, isn't it? Less than 33 number is it? Ooh, look at that. Oh, you guys are wonderful. I love you all so much. I could eat you all for dinner. I bet Joshua's delicious with ketchup. I bet Jackson's delicious with hot sauce. What do you think, Jackson? No. <laughs> All right, maybe some cheese. Ooh, look at that, Johnny. Nice work. She is counting down horror tents. Look at Miss Addie's. Ooh, that's one. Yes, Siddharth, excellent. Now, Ben, just flip your numbers around. Remember, when you are subtracting, always start with the bigger, fatter, richer number. Which one's bigger, fatter, richer, 30 or 33? Start with the bigger one. You have to be rich to give away all your money. Wonderful. Oh, Addy, nice job. Yes, Jaden, very good. Joshua's got his answer boop, right there. Did you use a hundreds chart, Jaden? No, Joshua, Joshua, did you use a hundreds chart? How'd you do it? Explain to me how you did it. My sister My told sister me. Told. No. <laughs> How'd you do it? It was kind of, I mean, it was two things. Okay a number line in my head and what do we count on so uh -huh. oh so if you're on a number line could you skip count three tens backwards um yeah so, yeah so you're at 33 and you, then you could skip three tens because 30 is three tens right so you mm -hmm. could skip count so it'd be 33 down to 23 down to 13 and then one more jump down to three you could also use place value i mean if you have three tens and you give away three tens 
you have no tens. So what's left is just your baby ones. Oh, that's interesting. Thank you, Mr. Joshua. All right, guys. Very nice. I love your takeaway. Oh, look at Johnny's. Great. But we have to move on because it's almost time for our, um, our small groups. Okay. So let's see. Oh, here it is. This is a quick question. How did you do? How many questions do you remember getting right? Remember, there were seven questions. Did you get three right? Did you get four right? How about five? How about one? How about none of them? Jackson, where'd my Jackson go? Oh. Almo, how many did you get right? Oh, here come some answers. Johnny says she thinks she got them all. Sudar, six or seven. Addie got all seven right. Who else? I only got one wrong, I think. I think I got six of them right. And it's okay if you make mistakes. Remember, this, <laughs> our lessons are for learning. So this is the place to make your mistakes and then learn from them. Okay. And this is the perfect place to do that. Oh, here comes another one. Okay. 10 more seconds. Oh, wow. I got five. You are not bad at math. You are great at math. Everybody learns almost six or five. Okay. All right. Okay, pups. Here we go. Last thing. When we are, um, when we do our small groups together, if you come to our small groups, we are going to do fact fluency, okay? So fact fluency is how fast and correct you can solve problems. So here we have a matchup. And how fast are you to find the sums or differences and match them up super fast with their equations? And this is what we're gonna be doing in our small groups as fast as you can. Oh, somebody's already got three, right? Nice. Oh, it's like a race between Siddharth and Jaden. Oh, a race between Johnny and Aid Adeline. Who else? Oh, oh no. Oh, no. Siddharth and Jaden, who's going to get a first? Three, two, one. Oh, Siddharth, woohoo, you did it. Nice work. <laughs> you are fact fluent. Very good. Who else? Oh, Joshua, Jaden, excellent. Man, that was fast. So this whole, um, this little test right here is just a taste of what we will, we will be working on in our small groups. We will be working on fact fluency. Facts are easy, easy, quick math problems, both addition and subtraction that you need to know. You know, one plus one, four plus three, nine plus two. It's the easy ones. It's the facts you must know. And by the way, when you get to third, second and third grade, you're going to need to know multiplication facts. Yeah. So raise your hand if you already know some multiplication facts. Oh, I know right? Yeah, you do know. Them. So like two times two, one times one. So these hey, are more. I know 10 into 10 is 100. Wow, that's awesome. 10, 10 times is 100. You're right. Okay, guys, we are almost done. If you didn't get a chance to finish, don't worry. 11 into 11 is 22. 121. Oh, times. Yes. I, Very good. Oh, you know what? 5 plus uh, 50 plus 50 is uh, 100. Whoa, that is a fact. That's a fluent fact. All right, so here are your pairs. All you had to do was match up and see how fast you are. The faster you are, the more successful you will be when you're um, working on complicated math problems. That's right. There'll be uh, parts of a complicated, more, you know, harder math problem, but it'll be much faster if you know your facts. All right, guys, we're all done. We're done. We're so done. I will share the Nearpod lesson with you uh with your families on group me and you can practice it on your own but for now it is time for us to go let me uh let me go back to oh all right let me let me let me say goodbye to all my cuties 
it's time for our small group. So you know your small group, you can join me in just a few minutes for group one and group two. There is no more group three. I'm group one, yeah. I'm group one. Yeah, that's right. Any questions real quick, Christina?